Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can use three different things on your calculator to solve algebraic problems. Okay, so uh, the first one is nSolve. Okay, so what nSolve does, um, oops, let me write that again, nSolve. Okay, it helps you to solve pretty much any equation, whether it's a simple one like this or even ones that involve um, a bit of trigonometry, maybe like something like sine x equals 0.4 or the cosine rule or something like that it solves pretty much everything okay so um, but it's just a bit funny in terms of how you enter things so let's try and solve this equation we could do it by hand but I just want to prove a point so 3 bracket x plus 2 plus 2 bracket x plus 4 equals 19 so what does x equal so if we go to our calculator then go to menu down to algebra and across and it's the first one numerical solve okay and you have this Right, what you need to do is just literally type in the equation the way you see it. So, 3 bracket x plus 2, 3 bracket x plus 2, oops, go across, and then it's plus 2 bracket x plus 4, okay, and then equals 19. Don't press enter here by accident, it's equal, so just underneath the control sign, equals 19. Now you've typed it in. Okay, what you need to do next is tell the calculator what letter you're solving for so what you do is you press comma down here comma and x don't forget to do this otherwise you get an error so just double check you know, I've typed it in correctly yep and comma x press enter one okay so that's what x equals x has to equal one to satisfy this equation okay right the next problem we're asked to solve this simultaneous equation and it's a pretty nasty one, okay? So 3.6x take away 0.7y equals minus 11.37 and so on and so forth, okay? So, all right, and it's, um, the calculator can solve these simultaneous equations as well. So let's do that now. So we go to menu, go to algebra, and it's the second one. It says solve system of linear equations. So press enter on that. Okay, the first question is, how many equations do you have? Well, we have two equations. There's the first one, here's the second one. All right, second one is saying to you, what variables do you have? And so the letters basically we're dealing with is X and Y. You can change it to whatever the question requires, A and B, if it confuses matters, you can keep it the same. Okay, and then just press, so it says, enter the variables with a comma separating them, so it's okay. All right, so what we need to do is just type in the equation, the one by one, so it's 3.6x and take away 0.7y equals minus 11.37. Let me just get that right, 11.37. Okay, that's the first one. And the second one is 4.9x plus 2.7 y equals minus 1.23 and I hope I've picked one that has an actual answer so everything's typed in exactly the way it is in the question and then just press enter okay so what's the telling us minus 2.4 3.9 and there are your answers for our x and y so to satisfy this simultaneous equation x has got to be minus 2.4 and y has to be 3.9 okay and they're the answers okay right the next type of problem is quadratic equations okay so here's two quadratic equations and um, the calculator solves these as well so let's go th through how to do it so these are types of polynomials okay so go to our calculator and go to menu and algebra again, again, and it's the third one, polynomial tools, and it's push across, and it's the top one where it says find roots of polynomial. Okay, right, so degree. Now, when it's a quadratic, the highest power is a two. So it's asking you what the highest power is, and the highest power is a two, and it's a real root, so just press OK on this. And you don't really need to do anything here anyway when it's quadratic, so press OK. Right, here's a template that you need to follow. So first of all, it's got a2x squared plus a1x squared, x sorry, plus a0 equals nothing. Now, 
the quadratic equation needs to have this. It needs to be equal to zero. Okay, so it won't solve it unless it's got a zero on one side at least. Okay. Right now, let's go through the different numbers we have. So first of all, it's asking us to write, put in this box what number is next to the x squared, the coefficient of x squared. All right, so at the moment, there's no number written there. But technically, if there's no number written there, it's a 1. So in here, we write 1. OK, the next box, it's saying what's, what number is next to the x. OK, now, be careful here. It's not 8 that's next to the x. It's a minus 8. So in here, we write minus 8. OK, and the last box is saying to us what number is on its own. Well, the number that's on its own is positive 16. So in here, we write 16. OK, so 1x squared, take away 8x plus 16. Press OK. Right, and just double check, because it spits out the actual quadratic equation here. And just double check it matches yours. OK, and press Enter. 4 and 4, right, well, basically, it's telling us x equals 4. And also, x equals 4. Well, it's a repeated root, so it's just one answer. x equals 4 is the only problem thing that can solve this. OK, now, here's another quadratic equation. Now, let's answer this. But the problem with this one is, remember, it has to equal 0. And this one doesn't. So we need to manipulate it somehow. So, so we need to get 0 on one side and, well, this side's got one thing on there, so let's get rid of that 10. So it's a positive 10, so let's subtract it to the other side. So let's minus that 10. OK, so our quadratic equation would look like this. Minus 3x squared plus 12x take away 10 equals nothing. There's our 0. OK, and let's solve this quadratic equation now. So go to menu. Algebra, polynomial tools, find roots of polynomial, press OK on that. Right, well, first of all, what number is next to the x squared? Well, that's a minus 3. Tab, what number is next to the x? It's 12. And what number is on its own? Just be careful, that minus belongs to the 10. So it's a minus 10. That's on its own. Press OK. And press, just double check it. Yep. Yeah. OK, and then we've got some horrible numbers, 1.18. So x equals 1.18. Or it could equal 2.82. So x could equal 2.82. And then the values that can solve this equation as well as this one. So if you put x is 1.18 sorry, here and here, you'll get something close to 10 here. Or if you put 2.82 here and here, then get close something close to 10. So that's the three features, the three key features that can help you solve a lot of the equations on here.